بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thankful to him subhana is in fact a blessing and a ni'mah from him. And this is why even in the supplication that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught his ummah, his sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een to say during the prayer Allahumma that the Prophet ﷺ taught the Sahaba عنهم, to say, O oh Allah, I seek your assistance in remembering you and being grateful to you and having righteous, uh, sound worship of you. So this is seeking refuge with Allah in order to worship him better. And that is the ni'mah of true tawheed and true ibadah and true thankfulness. Asking Allah to bless you to be thankful to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that shows khudur and humility before your Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's the only one worthy of worship. Ayul Ahbab, being grateful to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way that we which uh, the way in which we show gratefulness is that we do righteous deeds so meaning gratefulness isn't simply saying on the on the tongue oh lie thank you but gratefulness is showing by avoiding disobedience and being obedient to Allah so having taqwa azza wa jal exhibiting taqwa by adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. This is true thankfulness. So that the person who's grateful, for example, the one who's given wealth by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or is given an increase in their life, maybe they were diagnosed with cancer, or they were diagnosed uh, with some sickness, and then Allah cures them, or extends their life. The way in which they would show gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not simply by just saying thank you Allah, although that's a part of it. But true gratefulness is by doing righteous deeds, so maybe increasing in their prayer, giving uh, charity, doing the night prayer. All of these ways are ways to really show thankfulness, extra fasting to Allah Azza wa Jal. And it was narrated that Al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala said, It has reached me that when Allah the Mighty and Majestic blesses a people and gives them some good, he asks them to be grateful. If they are grateful, he is all able to give them more. But if they are ungrateful, he is able to turn his blessings into a punishment. And this was narrated in Shu'b al-Iman by Imam al-Bayhaqi. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who are grateful and those who are grateful when they are given and who are patient when they are tested. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.